Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to add a waypoint circuit for our scene, and uh, we need a waypoint circuit throughout the scene, and uh, then our enemy cars or AI cars will follow that circuit. So let's see how we can do that. So we we, we can just create small cubes or empty objects. So here you can see that we can actually create empty object and uh, let's name it uh, way point circuit like this and then inside the circuit we will just create a cube maybe so let's go to 3d cube and uh, we can rename this cube if we want to do so so uh, way point circuit point like this and uh, then we can just place this cube on this road uh, you can uh, manage your own cubes and uh, I will just uh, make it small also we don't uh, want to show the mesh but initially I will just show you uh, I will just enable the mesh so that we can see the cubes and uh, then we can actually click on this upper uh, from the top view and then we can actually uh, duplicate the cube so I will just duplicate it control D and then we can place it control D we can place it like this and here you can see that we have a little bit of uh, variations or you can see say the uh, curvy area here we have so for this we can actually create some multiple cubes if we want to get accurate result and here I will just place it on the road and for this waypoint should be on the road and uh, this waypoint should be on the road so we have to recheck every waypoint properly so I will just create uh, cubes throughout the road and uh, we will move back okay so now we have created waypoints throughout the uh, actually the cubes so throughout the scene uh, throughout the road and how what we want is that uh, we will select the main waypoint circuit object and we will go to standard assets inside utilities we have uh, a waypoint circuit uh, object so we can actually uh, add this waypoint circuit object to this waypoint circuit element and uh, now we will just click on assign using our child objects and now everything is assigned but definitely you can see this type of bad behavior so now uh, it's not in a proper way so we have to adjust the uh, 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 these uh, cubes accordingly so after one we should have the two cube and then three cube and like this so we'll just move these uh, cubes like this and we can adjust the positions so after adjusting the position i will just resume the video okay so i have arranged these uh, accordingly and uh, now you can see that we have a nice waypoint tracker and you can see this uh, yellow line is uh, on the road uh, which actually we want and uh, everything is okay so now the important thing is that we will select all the waypoints and we don't need a box collider we can actually delete the box collider or we can make it um, is trigger also we don't need mesh render so let's make it remove the component and the box collider we can also delete this box collider and now we only have these objects if we press F you can see that this yellow line shows us the waypoint uh, tracker so now everything is fine now what we can do we can actually add the AI car and we, we can test it out so let's go to yellow car we can just 
press F to focus this and let's place our first car so let's go to assets prefabs where we have created our enemy car so let's add this black car and uh, for now for, uh, for now I will just uh, hide the main player car and uh, for this uh, multi-purpose camera rig now the uh, this instead of car yellow we will just place this enemy black car for time so that it should follow the uh, enemy car and now we will select the enemy black car and we will actually uh, add our circuit here and we can just drag drop the circuit object here and uh, that's it so now if we play the game you will see that our car will follow the circuit so let's see so you can see that uh, our car is moving absolutely good and uh, yes that's great and steering uh, is good but uh, we can actually improve the steering we can improve and manipulate the speeds of uh, different AI cars as well if you want to do so and uh, although the steering is quite good for this car but uh, definitely we can change it so you can see that it just uh, finish the loop without any problem but uh, I will just uh, add other cars as well here and uh, I will show you certain settings so if we select the enemy ca car you can see that we have some settings uh, here regarding uh, lock ahead for target look ahead for target so uh, look ahead for target here and uh, for speed and uh, for speed smooth along uh, route and point to point options are also available so I will just increase this uh, to 20 maybe and uh, uh, this is a better uh, option and I will actually add other cars as well so that we can manipulate all cars by once and uh, so let's select all the cars and in, uh, including enemy black and uh, here you can see that look ahead for target we we'll just enter 20 for all and uh, here one more important thing is this cautious maximum angle so make it 60 it will give us the better experience with the steering and uh, other things uh, will be fine here you can see target direction difference target direction never break we have certain brake conditions so we have target distance difference so if we select it it will give us uh, more better result and uh, it will give us uh, uh, some smooth variations and uh, other things uh, are uh, fine and if we want to uh, play with the speeds so you can see that for example for yellow car we want to increase the down force and top speed if you want to do so uh, so I will just uh, for yellow car I will just increase the speed to 130 and down force or let's say add it 150 maybe and down force will be 120 and uh, save it and then we have enemy red so for this we will just apply down force a little bit lesser and uh, the top speed will be 110 like this and then we have enemy blue so let's make it 70 maybe and uh, for the top speed let's make it 90 which is also good speed but uh, we can uh, just play with the speeds and it will give us better variations 
so because these are the prefabs and uh, after uh, making settings if we delete these cars uh, that settings will not be applied to prefab so we will select the prefab and we will go to our right and we will apply all we'll just go to enemy red we'll just click on apply all enemy blue apply all and enemy black apply all and now i will just delete uh, these three cars for now and again i will play it and i will want to check test it out again so everything will work fine or not so let's see so we will accomplish one more round so everything is fine till here you can see steering is quite smooth speed is quite good and yes that's good yeah that's better and i think the uh i think this thing the standard one was fine target distance if we apply difference it will create some problems later on so uh, better uh, way is i think the standard one which is target distance so now i think uh, it's good yeah speed is quite good and uh, steering is also fine yeah okay and i think uh, everything is fine uh, with the cars and uh, in next video we will move further uh, we will actually adjust certain settings regarding to AI cars and uh, I will just uh, open the prefabs of all cars and will make every car with a simple brake condition target distance which is which works good for us.